Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to enable some amazing features on your iPhone using secret settings. Now these are settings that are found on the settings app but are actually like really buried into the settings app or you never notice them and have of course never used them on your device but they're pretty useful and of course will allow you to do much more with your device. Now before we get into those make sure you smash the like button of this video that will help out a lot and of course let this video and this channel do much much better. All right, now, first off, we're starting with Smart Invert. You probably know about this, but you probably don't know how to utilize it this way that I'm about to show you guys. Now, of course, Smart Invert has been gone out of the game since the dark mode has been released with iOS 13, but there are still a lot of apps and a lot of like websites and stuff like that that actually don't support the new dark mode on iOS and that is of course very disappointing because it's quite a lot of time since the release of the dark mode. Now what you can do is actually go to settings and then from here you will need to go to accessibility and right here under display and text size you will find smart invert. Now if you enable it from here it will just automatically be enabled completely on your device but you don't want to do that like on like apps like instagram and maybe like twitter stuff like that we have dark mode we don't need smart invert but there are apps like maybe facebook or safari when you go to browse here you can see no dark mode here and what you can do is actually utilize a pretty cool trick go to your home screen and go to the shortcuts app on here make sure you go to automations and tap on create personal automation and then choose the apps which you want in this case we want to choose safari so tap right here and choose the safari app so let's just search for it so here we have safari tap on it and then tap the dumb button now from here what we need to do is go ahead and tap next and search for smart invert So here we have smart invert now what you need to do is just tap on it smart invert on and then tap next disable this right here and tap on don't ask now every time you just open safari it will open smart it will actually enable smart invert and you will have all the websites in the dark mode which is really really cool now i can do this of course for any app that you want even if you want it for like Facebook or stuff like that, you can still do that. But you can see if we go out of Safari, then Smart Invert will be enabled and it's still on all the other apps which actually do support dark mode. Now what you wanna do is go ahead and create another automation right here by tapping the plus button and search again here for app and search for Safari again. And once you have found Safari, tap on the dumb button and then tap on is closed and remove the check mark from open and tap next, search for Smart Invert again, and then tap right here on the on button and make sure you turn it to off, and then click next, disable this right here, click done, and you're good to go. Now, every time you go ahead and open Safari, you have Smart Invert turned on, go out of Safari, it will be turned off automatically. Did you know that you can actually choose which websites can be accessible from your device? You can do that very easily by going to the screen time settings. You go there and you go to content and privacy restrictions. Make sure you enable it right here. Enter a passcode that you want to use, of course, to access this part right here. And then you will have here content restrictions. You go right there and you will have web content. Now from here, what you can do is limit adult websites, unrestricted access, and allowed websites only. So only the websites that are on this list will be allowed to be accessed when this is enabled. Now, of course, you can add websites from here, or you can delete any one of these that are actually on this list by default. Now, here is a very, very simple one, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't know about this because I get this question a lot how to change the ringer volume, not the media volume, the ringer volume on your device using the side buttons. Now you can do that simply by going to settings and go to sounds and haptics. And from here, what you need to do is just tap and enable this button right here, change with buttons. And now when you don't have any media playing, you will be able to actually change the ringer volume using the buttons of your device. If you have AirPods Pro, did you know that you can actually enable noise cancellation for one AirPod, so 
by default when you have both airpods you can turn on of course noise cancellation but when you take one off it will be disabled now if you go to your settings and go to accessibility you will find here the section for airpods now if you go right there you can see this part right here noise cancellation with one airpod now this will keep your noise cancellation on even if you take one of the airpods out of your ear one of the most useful features that has been added to ios is of course voice control that will help a ton of people on using their iphone because you can do that by only using your voice now you can enable it by going under accessibility and you will have voice control right here now the cool thing is that as i said you can control your iphone using your voice but you probably will be staring at the phone and not knowing which command to give to your iphone but here comes the cool part you can go here and go to overlay Now, when you go to overlay you can choose item numbers just like this item names or a grid view like this so you can choose on which number to tap so i prefer the item numbers right here and all i have to say now is for example tap one tap one and then of course just like that the device will know actually what to do and which section to tap another cool feature right here is attention aware now you can notice right there that microphone that blue microphone right there that indicates that the voice control is on but if you enable attention aware then you can see it just sleeps automatically because i'm not staring at the phone that of course uses the sensors right here and the minute it just detects my face it will turn it on automatically on your iphone from the control center you can have access to your notes from here even if you're on the lock screen of your device so you need to take a quick note you don't have to actually open your device you can do that directly from the lock screen but if you go to notes right here you will find here a section that says notes on the lock screen so here we will have basically the notes access notes from the lock screen and when you go here you will have a bunch of very useful settings now first of all you can choose whether you want to resume the last note or create a new note and then you will have here resume last note you will have viewed in notes app so it will resume the last note that you have viewed on the notes app or the last note that you have created from the lock screen so these are pretty useful options and then you can choose here when you want to require a passcode you can choose never or of course one of these times and then of course directly from the lock screen of your device you will be able to start creating a new note now when you go to your iCloud at the top of the settings app here is one very useful setting that I'm pretty sure most of you guys don't even know about and that's right here so let's go to manage storage you will notice here a section that actually is very useful and probably will help you free a ton of space on your device so you know since apple allows downloads through safari there is an option to download on your icloud drive or locally on your iphone so if you download on your icloud if there's large files that of course will take up a lot of space now right here will find your icloud drive if you go right here under your icloud drive you will find the documents and data and right here will find your downloads tapping there will show all the downloads that you have downloaded from safari and saved into the icloud drive now of course you can go ahead and just swipe like this and delete these files and free up a ton of space on your icloud drive and last but not least we're going to the health app so if you go to the health settings right here and go to data access and devices you will see right here a full list of devices that have gotten access to your health data now this right here allows us to tap on any of them and of course view what kind of data these devices have received now if you go to steps right here you can see it shows you all the kinds of different details and if you want to you will have the option to actually remove your health data from any of these devices simply by using the delete button right here so that is it for this video guys hope you guys learned something new today and of course enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one